Good afternoon guys and welcome back to another episode. I'm the Friendly Investor, your favourite investor channel. And today we're going to be looking at four hot stocks that have potential to make you a millionaire by 2030. Before we start, this is not financial advice and it's entertainment purposes only. I strongly recommend you do your own research. Now let's jump right into the video. Now today I'm going to be talking about the EV industry and that stands for Electric Vehicle Industry. And where it's at now, you may think this is huge, this is it, this is as big as it can get for the EV industry. But I'm here to tell you that a Deloitte article and study that they did found that it's currently only at about 3 to 5% of the current car industry. So that means, and they predicted that by 2030, this company, uh, the EV industry, will be at about 30%, 30 to 35%. So that means we're looking at a seven times jump in the next nine years from where it currently is. So if you're looking at the big players at the moment, for instance, Tesla, Neo, Xpeng, and Lee Auto, which I'll be coming on to in a little bit, and I'm going to be showing you the reasons why these are brilliant holds in this industry that can make you a lot of money in the long run, and I'm talking about 10 to 15 years down the line. Now let's look at the article. So by the 2030 sales forecast that Deloitte did, a very well-known company, um, they, they, found, they did a study, and they found that after COVID has relaxed a little bit, and we can see that the attention towards the EV industry has actually is actually increased quite significantly and the global EV forecast is for a compound annual growth of 29% achieved over the next 10 years this mean and the total EV sales growing over 2.5 million in 2020 to 11.2 million in 2025 then reaching a staggering 31.1 million by 2030 this is huge so it's currently at 2.5 million to 31.1 million this is over a 10 times increase so if you look at where it is now and you're thinking neo announcing their Recently, in one of their charts, that they only sold 83,000 vehicles in January. So look uh, over the years, over, over in one year. So if you look at where they are now and multiply that by 10, 830,000, look at their current stock price and look where they're going to be once they have expanded into Europe. And this is for all the EV companies. It's not just the four that I'm going to be talking about, but these are the main four that I've got my eye on that I really think are going to be dominant players in the next 10 years. So let's look at their forecast. So they said Deloitte expects that by 2030, China will hold 49% of the global EV market. Europe will account for 27% and the United States will hold 14%. So right now, I recommend really doing your research and due diligence and looking at some of the key players and what these EV industries are really using. Although some of them may, may have really good electric vehicle models right now, you really need to be thinking quite ahead, like five to 10 years down the line. And we're going to be looking at autonomous vehicles, for instance, Neo announced that they partnered with NVIDIA by 2022, they'll have an or, or, autonomous vehicle, um, ET7 sedan, I believe. So that's really interesting, something to look into. And Xpeng, we're already looking at, a proto they've already got a prototype for a flying car. So you can see how really innovative these technology companies are, and you should really something to keep your eye out, because although they may be a key player now, within five years, we're going to really see this technology advance rapidly. So constantly keep your eyes on the stock, and keep your eyes on the company, and look at their business model, and look at the management team behind it, and where they their vision is for the next 20 years ideally because we can see that Elon Musk technology genius marketing genius dogecoin anything he says the stock price will react to it somehow so it's something to keep your eyes out and keep looking at their management team and the, the experience they've already had and where they're going with this company that's something to look out for so I just want to show you the chart and we can see that currently we see that pretty much non-existent at the moment then we can see obviously with COVID a lot of the countries and the governments have taken a They've taken a bit more of an, um, I'll say, a liking to reducing their carbon footprint, which I think is really good for the environment and the world as a whole. And they're looking at some of these technology companies who are producing these EV vehicles. And we've seen that by Neo, Xpeng, and Liotta. They've already received government support and government funding. So when Neo was almost bankrupt, the government helped um, provide them with a little bit of an injection of finances. And now look where they are. They've shot up recently. And I cannot wait to show you their stock price soon. And yeah, the same with Tesla, really. Although they, they, they weren't making any profit for almost 16 years. And look where they are now. So we're going to be expecting... And where they are now, compared to where they're going to be in 10 years, is you're going to... This, this is bargain price I'm talking right now. It may seem quite expensive for Tesla, $880. But in, 10 to 5, in 5 to 10 years, we're probably going to be looking at ten to 15000 a share. This is all being serious. Because this industry is, industry is going to be extremely attractive in the next coming years. Now let's look at the four stocks that I want to be talking about. So the first one's Tesla. See their market cap is 807 billion. 
at 52 week high of 940, 52 week low of 7010, currently at 852.23. And there's just something I want to show you um, after I've spoken about all these charts because there's a lot of similarities. You may be able to spot it before I tell you, but it's just something to keep you out. Look at the charts and look at the patterns of each of these stocks. They move very similarly. So it's quite interesting when deciding what stocks to purchase because they're all key players and they all have similar sort of patterns in their movement throughout the year. And yeah, so we've seen, I can really see Tesla, my prediction is that in the next five years, this company is going to be about $3,000 a share. So it's something to keep your eye out for. The next stock is Neo, Brilliant, one of the, one of the well, most well-known China EV manufacturers, really a key player. People keep saying Chinese Tesla, they're their own technology company. It's the neighbor next door, really. They're going to be something special. And if you, look, if you remember what I said, it was 48% of the Chinese market share of the EV market share will be from China. So you're going to be looking at Neo shooting up massively. Xpeng and Li Auto are also going to be there. Should put in their foot in the door and making sure that they're known in this uh, really attractive industry, attractive and growing industry, I should say. Yeah, they've got 89.13 89 billion. 52 week high, 6699, 52 week love, 211. I don't know if you already see the pattern as well in the chart. They are, I remember, if you remember Tesla chart, I'll show you a quick glimpse. See, they're moving very, very similar. they ups and downs are very around the same time. Now, the next talk I want to talk about is Xpeng. Xpeng, another Chinese EV manufacturer. Market cap, 37 billion. 52 week high, 74.49. 52 week low, 17.11. Currently hovering around 46.93. Now, what's interesting is that this company... There, it's not as volatile as the other one, but it is very volatile, and it is, but it is seriously one to look out for because they're, they're looking at moving into Europe shortly as well. So it's going to be really interesting to see how these competition plays out once they have expanded into these Chinese manufacturers have expanded into Europe and the US, and see how it really affects Tesla if it will move them because they are a bit of a mountain at the moment. And the last last vehicle I want to talk about is Li Auto, another Chinese manufacturer. Market cap 27.29 billion, 52 week high 47.70, 52 week low 14.31, currently hovering around 30.40. I can see these three companies, all four, sorry, are going to be moving in my prediction about the next five, ten years. We're going to see this company about 20x in all seriousness, so it's really one to look out for. And if you look where they are now, their market cap is going to boom and they're going to shoot up. And now I just want to talk about the correlation and the traits in the, in the charts and the way they've moved over the past year and whether I can see this really being similar for the next five, ten years. And we can see by Neo and Tesla, very, almost identical. Really almost identical. So that's one to look out for. And then Xpeng and Li Auto also share similar traits. Obviously, Li Auto had a bit of a sell-off here, but I think that was when they were a bit, they're not as well-known as the other ones, then all of a sudden shot up very much like Li Xpeng. Now they follow the similar pattern to them. And I can really see these all kind of, not merging together, but their the way that their patterns and their trends in the stocks in the next five, ten years, because it is a growing industry, and these companies are really the main top ten out of um, of the I'm mean, only talking about four, but they are the top ten EV manufacturers in the EV industry at the moment. I can really see this sticking like this for a while. So it's just one to look out for. Um, this is my prediction, and it's just entertainment purposes only. But these are my four stocks that I really think you should keep your eye on if you want to become a millionaire in the next ten years. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much. Let me know what stocks you're looking at in the comments below. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.